Hello. Uh, so it's kind of been an amazing day today. It's the end of it. It's very late. It's like nine at night and I'm just getting home. Uh, I still have to make dinner. Um, but uh, I've been really tired getting back into training these past couple of days because um, I fought and then I had to go to Lao, which took three days and um, it's super exhausting to do that. It's a really long trip. It's really long hours in the car. Um, and then I'm not training, so I actually get really tired when I don't train, uh, which is one of the reasons I don't really take days off. Um, so it was difficult coming back to training, and uh, Pinu was patient with me, which he isn't always. Um, but this fight came up on me really fast. I'm fighting on Thursday. Today's Monday, and so I really just have, like, tomorrow to train, and then, and then we're going to drive up after training, like, at night, because um, I have to weigh in the day before. Uh, but it's a, it's a big weight, so I don't really have to cut weight for it. Um, but so anyway, I've been really tired in training and I'm starting to feel better today because I'm like three days in. So that's when you like start to kind of get your footing back. Um, and not only was I not physically training, but I hadn't been mentally training, which I totally should have been doing in that long car ride up to Laos. And I dropped the ball. I was really bad about it. So I've kind of been playing catch up and I'm, I'm starting to feel better today. Um, but also feeling a little bit of, of panic about how I don't really have time to like ride in the groove. Um, but so this afternoon, um, I had really good pad work with Pimut um, over at WKO, and then I just raced over to Petrungrung, and I was like, I just got to get some clinching in here uh, before going and getting more clinching. And I actually got really, really good work in at Petrungrung. I was um, clinching with Bank, who's probably my favorite clinch partner because it used to be so awful to clinch with him. It used to be such a nightmare, and now it's actually really nice. Um, and he's much bigger than me now, and he's very strong. Um, but I was really proud of myself because I was working on things that um, I think I need to be working on in general, but I was also working on things that are specific to this fight and this fighter who I'm gonna be facing. She has one thing that she kind of does in the clinch. Um, and Bank super helped me with it. Like, he, he kept putting his leg up the way that she's going to, and he, like, kept uh, doing it, like, really consistently. So I ended up getting, like, 20 minutes of practice of just doing this one thing. Um, and then when I was done with that, he knew spars with me sometimes just out of nowhere, like between rounds when he's holding for other people. He'll come over and mess with me for like 30 seconds at a time or whatever the break is. But I ended up sparring with him for like 10 or 15 minutes straight today, which was unreal. I've never sparred with him that much before. And we weren't wearing gloves or anything. He just had shin pads and like his belly pads. So I was like punching his belly pad as hard as I could and teeping him and kneeing him and stuff and trying to throw him to the ground. He's much bigger than me. Um, so that was a lot of fun because it's actually kind of like a graduation to be able to spar with him like that. Um, one, he wouldn't do that with me before uh, when I hadn't been at the gym as long and also when he knew that I might cry about it. <laughs> but, but now I think he's one, okay with me crying about it if I did, but I also have a much better attitude so he knows that it's just going to be fun. Um, so that was awesome. Um, and then I went and got a lot more really good um, clinch practice over at Sir Clint me as well um, and I wasn't as successful there but I was still like totally grooving on what had happened at the other gym and then when I went to uh, karate Sifu was there and uh, he was <laughs> uh, he was having me do sparring with Nabin who's much smaller than me um, but he wants it to be this like constant movement kind of thing because it's karate it's not Muay Thai um, and I'm not like that that's not really my style but that's definitely something that is worth learning um, so it was kind of funny, like, Nabin and I were basically just, like, cracking each other up, um, like, doing these, like, non-stop movements, and we weren't windmilling or anything like that, but it's funny because he looks to me as the authority, he'll ask me whether or not something is legal in Muay Thai. Um, he fights Muay Thai also, he has, like, six fights or something, but he totally is like, Sully, can you do that in Muay Thai? Can you do that? And I'm like, you can do all of this, like, you can totally knee someone in the thigh. Um, so it's been a really good day. Uh, I really enjoyed my training. It was a lot of fun. It was really exhausting. Um, and I guess even though I'm on the increase and it's going to be cut short because tomorrow's my last day of training, um, ultimately that's a good thing because I'm getting my uh, mental and physical back together just in time for the fight. And uh, I'm excited to be fighting. Uh, and I'm excited to be fighting this opponent. I've wanted to fight her for a really, really long time and it just kind of fell into my lap. Um, and so things are just kind of coming together. It's it's the Sylvie Groove. Um, and I read an incredible blog post today by a woman who's on the uh, Muay Thai forum. And um, she wrote about her first fight. And 
it was amazing to read about her first fight. Not only because it's so well written and she's a very cool person, so it's nice to read like from the heart of people uh, who are enjoyable people, but there are so many things in her description that I can see are things that took me a really long time to learn. And I know she reads my blog, so I know that she got some of those things from me, which makes me so proud and like a little bit teary to think that there were so many times that I wanted to like ask someone like how do you do this or like where is the line or how do you walk this way or anything and I just didn't have it and so it takes a really long time to learn it and I think that there are some things that you can't give people a cheat sheet for like I think there are some things that you actually just have to experience the hard way and kind of like move through before you actually get it there are tons of things that Master K or Gansak or even Pinu last year taught me that I'm just getting now because I like wasn't ready for it before. And I think that happens with a lot of people. But there are little things, mostly mental things, that I see in her explanation of her first fight that I'm like, I'm so glad someone else sees that and feels that and knows that because they're fundamental truths. They're not my truths. They're like ways of being and expressing and seeing yourself that are profoundly better than not so uh that was pretty amazing that might be part of why today was just the best is uh i think she perked up my my mental training a little bit by <laughs> by me being able to read about her first fight so flora thank you very much that was awesome um and i'm actually waiting for kevin to help me come carry groceries so i'm gonna i'm gonna go yell at him <laughs> all right talk to you guys later